I see what's going on. What? Solvent abuse. I work nights at a petrol station. That doesn't explain the petrol can. Wendy, I'm really sorry. I should have listened to you more. I've just got off the phone with a very kind drug and alcohol counsellor. There's another station a couple of k's down the road. Please, Wendy, let's see if we... Did I ask too nicely? I'm not serving you, you judgmental cow! where Wendy Cooper was pumping the petrol. So she was just moonlighting? Yep. She and her husband own the business. They work all hours of the day and night. That's why she's tired and smelled of petrol. She's not a huffer. She's a hard-working mother of three, and I as good as fired her. Well, you better give her a job back before she rings a lawyer. No, it was a fair call in the circumstances. Oh, yeah? And what about the call you made? How fair was that? What's this? Some do-gooding social worker rang her up out of the blue. Oh, that was quick. You dobbed her in as if she was a glue-sniffing street kid. I only said she could get counselling. But you humiliated her. You had no right to do that. Well, she needs help of well, some that's kind. That's enough. You vote no. Because it's too much stress on Sarah. Oh, look at you, running around after this woman. You can't hold her hand all day, every day. You need a nurse who will support you. Not the other way around. You vote yes. Yes, because... Anyone can start off on the wrong foot. She's good with the patients. They like her. Do I vote? No. Oh. Find someone else. Yvonne wants you to know that they're still going hard over at the IV and that she'd love to buy you a drink. Sure. Is your mum OK? She's telling all the stories. The bank robbery is popular. I think she's up to the third retelling. Which is why I wanted to go home. Fair enough. See you in the morning. By the way, I don't need you to work late tomorrow. I got your text. Or was it Helga? It was me. Yeah, but she calls the shots. Helga, babe! I need the overtime. What can you do? Nicole. I can't believe I work in a place where a machine dictates the number of sick people there are going to be. Are you a man or a computer mouse? Night, ladies. Get some sleep. Night. <laughs> How could they unplug Ben and still leave her going? He would have given her a good shot of silicon right in the roster. Yeah, yeah, come on. Carrots and a fruit salad. That's different. I'm miles away, aren't I? Oh, sunny beach in Maluba. Petrol station in Ferndale West and wherever Henry is. He hasn't paid his rent. Hmm. Schlacker. And the petrol station? Wendy, she's out doing the night shift and it's my fault. Hardly. I slammed the door in her career. If she wasn't a huffer before, she will be now. You're an anatomical freak, you know that? Your heart is too big to fit under there. Oh. Big news, big decision. For well, we are going to get our own flat. I thought you should freak out. No, no, I'm not. That's a, that's a, a perfectly logical option for you to consider. We found this cute-ass place. Big deck out the back, a real sun trap. Maybe not this time of the year, though. And it's 200 <laughs> a week. I put you're only working part-time. Well, I had a job interview today with these website maintenance dudes, and I reckon it's in the bag. When will you get to study? I I'm going to take a year off from tech. Well, can't you see I'm trying to man up? Now, I've got to buy a cot, uh, a buggy, a uh, layette. Yes, I know what that is. A car seat at the works. And I don't want rubbish. I want the best for our baby. Paid for with my own money, living in my own house. Who's going to argue with that? Not me. <sighs> hey, um, um, you go ahead. Order up large, OK? All right. Uh, soy smoothie for you? Yes, thank you. I think I have everything. Hi. Are you coming to work here? You know each other? Yeah, Wendy's been helping out at the clinic. She's been really good. It's not on your CV. It was only a few days. It's work experience. It all counts. I'd be happy to write you a reference. Lovely. I'll get onto it. I'll be in touch. Great, thanks. You'll like working here. They're a great bunch. Not a 
brilliant one, though. It's still wet out there. Yeah, it's hosing down. Hey, I'm sorry about the attitude last night. It was about the machine, not the messenger. Well, the machine has just suggested more overtime. How's that sound? But I've booked the hairdresser. Why couldn't she have told me that last night? Because it wasn't raining last night. That's clever. That's ridiculous. She thinks there'll be more accidents in this weather. Makes sense. It'd be nice if she was wrong, but... Nicer still if Halgal could make up her mind. So you'll do the overtime? Yes, of course. Dad, calm down. All right. Well, thanks for getting back to me. We're just thinking about it at this stage. Well, let me know if anything else comes up, yeah? Hang on. See ya. See ya. Dad doesn't think we can afford our own flat. Well, he may be right. I didn't get the job. But never mind, we'll scrap by. How? The rent's 200 a week. Well, I'll get extra shifts at work. And then there's the phone, power, broadband, water rates, and we have to have TV, otherwise I'll die. And that's before the baby's I even will born. sort it, OK? I don't think you can. Not as an orderly. <laughs> can you please stop stressing my baby out? He's busy trying to grow in there. Hmm? I hope you're not surfing the net. Who's fixing the mouse for me? We've got technicians to do that. Helga rostered them off till Christmas. Yeah, we couldn't get anyone till the end of the week. Daniel seems to know what he's doing. Hard drive giving you a hard time? Then call the computer doctor. Put them in the staff room, not here. Maya said you wanted to see me. Yeah, we've downsized the afternoon shift, so we don't need to do any overtime. Why? Because it stopped raining, the sun came out? Yes. Now you can get your hair cut. Management for dummies. So in the future, you don't want to be considered for overtime? Don't be too hasty. I want the overtime. I need the cash flow. But now you need us, now you don't. That's not very efficient management. Actually, it is. Halgo's made us big savings already. Just remember, we're people, not machines. Mm, pity. What can you do? It's the weather. No, it's Helga, the witch. Well, she can't help it. It's just the way she's programmed. You sound like you know what you're talking about. Computer doctor, eh? Mates rates for hospital staff. Okay, Doc. Uh, how much to do a bit of surgery on the old overtime system? You want me to hack into Helga? She's driving us nuts. We need stability, <laughs> a schedule. You are a warrior, you know that? So is my credit card. I could get into so much trouble. But I'll pay you. And you need the money too, right? Yeah. But not that bad. 